Uh, this is probably a good time to heal myself up with this skill. Uh, I just did 122 frost damage. Hello everyone, my name is Gracie, and this is episode 10 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders 4 as uh, Frederick Son of the Sands. We are in combat with Locutus's of the Borg's final army. Uh, this is most of his remaining forces. We're kind of destroying them over here because I had some well-placed AoEs. This side's a little bit scary. I haven't really dealt with them. There's an Iron Golem, a Bastion, a couple heroes. These are Zephyr Archers. Oof, yeah, I'm gonna need help on this side, I think. But this side looks pretty good. Um, these guys are all pretty much locked down. Um, okay, so we haven't done this over here yet. Now, do we have a support unit? Yes. So we want to do Twin Awakening. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, potion this guy's negative off. Blinded, and instead he got strengthened. And then let's go ahead and uh, double Awakening our... Uh, let's hit an Archer. So they get the plus one range, which is quite helpful. I think I'll move up and take the two shots at 90, and we're gonna probably focus on the on the units that can actually lose models and get a little weaker. And we'll deal with the hero when we have a better better shot here. Um, now this guy here, oh my god, doesn't even take any real damage here. Jesus Christ, Frederick. What's wrong with you? Oh, hang on a second. Okay. How about that? I got a phone call from the veterinarian to deal with cat stuff. They're fine, by the way. They just need just their usual medicine. All right. Let, oh, my God. These guys are going to take no damage. Um, they're going to come around. They are certainly going to come around here and be annoying. But uh, I don't really want to not do anything, so I'm just going to... Take some shots and I'll I'll just kill him with uh, Frederick when he comes around. So we've got Mending Touch. Probably use that here. And then I'll use the... Um, uh, this doesn't... This doesn't do have the distracting, unfortunately. Shoot this stack here. Okay, and then this guy... It's a big hit. I think I'm just going to do this. Just stand in the way. Going to survive on this side more than actually try to fight uh, while we win over here and send these guys this way. Archers on the high ground. Hang in there, guys. Okay, as expected. Oh, they went for Frederick. That's kind of surprising. Zephyr Archers. Ooh, miss. The disease is spreading. They're taking damage over time. Uh, what is all this? Living Vine moved by itself. I don't, do they move? Okay, so let's start here. So we have... Do we have a heal? We've got Mending Touch. We're going to need that. Uh, let's run over to here. Distribute Tonic. Okay, Sundered Defense. Mending Touch. Helps a little bit. 
Got this Awakener still. Um, it's not great shots in here. Let's take this. Three shots. Should be able to do it. Okay, now we're happy. So that's good. It's good to see. Still blast this guy. Oh, we can probably we might be able to kill this one. Okay, excellent. So we've got broken morale basically now down here on this guy. Uh, this daylight spear. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a fumble. I think it's worth trying. I didn't get a fumble. And then just defend. And I'm gonna move this one in. I want to go into the miasma. See if we can fix this side up over here, but I probably need a spell to mend one of these got one of these two up. Um, let's move here. Just sort of slowly working these guys down. Pretty tanky. Hit a big. Poison AoE over here, it looks like. Yeah, so I think the Miasma here is our best chance. We're going to get four people in it, and then we can do a big poison. Yeah, that's better than healing one unit, I think. This is much more decisive. That's beautiful. Disease and poisoned. I can, I can awaken heal that guy. I should probably do that. Pretty freaking wounded, though. He's got a lot of debuffs on him, too. Uh, let's see if we can... See if we can... Bash this golem down a little bit. I wetted them! They're wet! Get them! Oh, I gotta do no damage to them. Holy crap. A crit for four damage. Yeah, we're experts. Okay, so these golems are dead next turn. Uh, unless I want to kill them now, and that would free up Frederick to actually go in, since he is sort of frontline unit. And he's kind of stuck back here on this stupid golem. There we go. So now we can lead, we can like run up to the archers or something. Now you guys, you're just gonna defend. Your job is to not let them through to all of these squishies over here. Uh, similarly, you just defend. Just stay there. Do not die. That's all I need from you. Horned God. Yeah, kill that thing. Sure. And that'll heal that guy up a little bit. Nice. The disease is spreading. My vines are gone. Oh no, he threw a rock at me. Oh, they're not they're not out down here. I thought they were going to be dead a lot faster. Ouch. I have to win by like more than like a couple units because there are six more units uh, on Lacutus's side, like right next to this. I can summon a shield unit here in a couple turns, but that doesn't help me. Oh no! Ah, uh, hammer! My turn. Okay. How are they doing over here? Let's start over here. Zephyr Archer has come in to be a butthole. Oh. I can do a pretty good job to... Okay, Twin Awakening. Let's awaken the two archers. This guy's still alive. It's kind of surprising, actually. Um, over here, we've got yet another issue here. This guy needs to go. 
can also animate flora if I can find one in a decent spot. Have to get one like back there. Could, I could run this guy all the way around. I could also run him this way. It's a bit wounded though. Heal an adjacent allied unit 15 temporary hit points. So I'll get first striked, but then, like, I think we'll be okay here. Oh, it healed himself instead of uh, this guy. That's not what I expected. Let's start working on this hero here in the front. This is going to do really good damage. Some stacks of poison on there. These are fantastic battle mages. I love these. Okay, there we go. That should help with the morale quite a bit. I think I'm going to send Frederick over here. Now, what does this do? all adjacent enemies and then deals damage. So it would suck all of the negatives af off of that guy and do some damage and then I would heal myself. But I'm gonna leave those on there for now. Just smack him. Do I have any heals left? No. wall that um Ooh, a crit okay so now that they're down to two models in the group they're a lot less scary still very strong though very strong Yes, down to one. Okay, so I can kind of almost sort of ignore them now, which I think I'll I'll move up to here and start. Oh my god, I do no damage. At least they've got a a thousand damage over times on them. Who am I selected? Oh yeah, this side. Ugh, it's not great. Awaken. You're awakened. You need to be awakened. Is this guy ranged? Yeah, so I should probably run this guy in here and stab their hero. I don't even remember what your dormant thing is. Guardian. Plus one retaliation attack. Okay. Electrified. Yeah, we're getting lots of enemies killed over here. These guys are 104 health. Been poison. Okay. So I think we've got the win. We just need to not lose a bunch of units. Because there's more fighting to be doing after this. But I can I can move my units around and use the army heal that I have queued up at all times and have only needed once. Support units are, oh, we missed. Oh, that's so good. Pain in the butt, these support units. Hang in there, guys. Tier one shieldies. I just got a crit opportunity attack. Oh my god, that guy has a lot of debuffs on him, too. We'll have to try to heal him up if we can. We've got enough units over here to chase these guys down. No heals yet. Um, where's my other support? 
I really don't want you to die. Um, let's throw a tonic on you. A mending touch on you. And then we're going to get, like, kind of away. Because I don't want to lose this unit. It's only got 11 health. having a dumb shoot each other in the trees fight which the Zephyr Archer is technically losing but in a way has kept three archers and a support unit busy so <laughs> kind of a valuable unit actually uh, this is probably a good time to heal myself up with this skill that just did 122 frost damage what the fuck Oh my god. Crit poison shots. Ouch. Ah! <laughs> Die, Zephyr Archer. No. Yes. Miss and then a crit. And then another crit. <laughs> All right, this guy's gonna live. Hell yeah. As long as they don't throw a rock at him again. All right, everybody, let's find the final ones here. You are going to run down here and survive. You've got minus three resistance without defense mode. Ouch. Whoa. That's but wow, I'm glad I ran him away. That would not have worked well for me. If we do this thing, it'll heal this guy, which is cool. Wow, horn gods are fun again. If I move this one over to here, this one is now pinned. Yeah. So now he's got nowhere to go to not be in zone of control. What are you going to do? Stab. That one's trying to run. They're in extremely bad shape. That was it. All right, we're looking good over here. No one's taking damage, really, so we can just kind of finish it off here. That was a good snipe that I found to attack that stack of three, because they would have had three more units. And I had a, a lot of units close to death there, so I would have taken a lot more losses, I think, with just a few more units in the battle. But now they're down to this, these six units here. This is actually their weakest stack, which does make sense um, that they didn't get involved. Um, now this group here, we're going to have to put in there. And then I've got army heal I can cast. Uh, what group? I wish I had the movement points to shuffle them around. Not the end of the world. Let's do these ones because they're more... Fucking spell jammer. I swear to God. Where is it? Fuck. I hate spell jammers. Shit. It's okay. I'll move... Oh, I got more people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I will move my units out of the borders for a second and then back in in order to use army heal. <clears throat> so I 
right there. Blood Fury weapons. Aha, new Tome Time. Tome Time. Available, sort by tier. So we're good boys. So Tome of Sanctuary. Anointed people. Target race gets spirit resistance and status resistance. Friendly city resistance. Okay. Morale, healing spires. Interesting. Keeper's mark. Faithful, reducing unit upkeep. Taking fatal damage makes them unable to die. Yeah. Yeah, this is very on brand. Even though I hate steadfast. I think it's bullshit. My faith is my shield. I am armed. I like that one. Unlock bind gold. Yep. Tavern. Yep. Happy. Fishmonger. Yep. And then we can, um, looks like we need to grab a, what was I trying to get? A quarry forester. Requires two quarries. Um, and then boosted by farms. Well, then we will grab a, ooh, but we've got magic material up here. We want to grab that first. Uh, looks like it's a, we could get a conduit. What do we have so far? I know there's some structures that require them, like the, uh, let's zoom out here. Uh, mine, conduit. Is this research or conduit? Wave conduit. So let's get another conduit. There we go. So we've got another magic material in the city, which is gonna add a lot. Yeah, so this sector is adding five gold and 20 research plus this building here, material refinery, is going to add another five knowledge and five gold. So that this 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 sector over here, this province is worth five gold, five mana, and twenty five knowledge. That's a great sector. Yeah, that's a huge amount. Yeah, that was like increasing my my research by more than ten percent with just a just annexing a sector, pretty good. Uh, and then none of these are boosted anymore. Whoops. Well, Bostros Fall is getting stronger. I think they've got the uh, stone walls coming up next. I might actually flip over to that. Just want to be as careful as possible because uh, my forces are about as far away as they can get from this player who definitely hates me. Your ruler leveled up. Ah, Frederick, son of the sand. Sentinel. Retaliation and opportunity and first strike. Absolutely. Acutus of the Borg. Yep. Captured a couple people. You don't... I'll leave you in there. I'll leave you in there. I'll leave you in there. This war is grows tiresome. Do you, you think so? So they, I feel like, okay, they're going to go into the city. Okay. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Okay, so let's take the most wounded units. And Frederick, because he's the most important. And now we can cast it, because they're outside of their borders. Okay, and then, now we can go back. So we've got a uh, shooter... A shooter, a shooter. So we need two ra two melee units. That was that was all that I got from the army heal. Oh my god! Well, I can't cast it again. Uh, let's see. So we have a lot of not melee units. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. Frederick. There we go. That's feeling good. Still got six turns to go, though, so he's going to be able to build some more units, but I'll also be able to heal up a little bit uh, during that time. Orders required. I should probably send these stacks over here in in anticipation of war with Bostero. So he doesn't get any funny business. Huh. Um, 
Let's see what I want to do here. Probably grab another one of whatever this is. Research post. Mine. You own this, which is a conduit. Cool. So let's get the other research post. Yeah, everybody hates everybody. That's the only thing keeping me from being at war with everyone is that everyone else hates everyone else because of the map modifier, which I find pretty funny. Oh, we're almost out of time. We've been having too much fun. We're having too much fun. All right, so you guys go to this city and then you guys continue on down to, uh, actually we'll just have you stop here at Bossero's Fall. We do need you to go and kill something to get some experience. Is this just these little plants? I can probably handle that with this extremely bizarre army of melee only units. I just have to uh, trespass a little bit. Oh, I forgot about all of these things. Carnival of Flesh gives food and draft and then per adjacent farm. Uh, is there a lot of water? Can you put these in the water? No. Can you put any of them in the water? Probably not. Spelljammer? Nope. Yeah, that's curious. It'd be cool if they were water-only ones. But you'd have to add them to a lot of the tomes. Or else people would just not pick tomes because they would be like, well, it's got a water thing in it and I don't have any water. So it has to be like an extra thing. If it's just part, if it's like a main feature, people aren't going to pick it. I don't think I need the arcane battlements. Because you only have one, right? When multiple are built, only the most powerful will be present. See, I don't understand that. So if I have the archer battlements and I build this, this replaces it, right? But it adds plus five fortification health. Whatever. In fact, you know what? I'll build stone walls here. This one doesn't have stone walls either. Leaf skin is ready. Transform. Frederick is going to be green. <laughs> He's green. <laughs> he looks goofy now. Oh, Frederick. I'm so sorry. I made your people green. <laughs> oh, they look... God, they don't look right anymore. They, something's not right here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so we want to queue up. Uh, well... Actually, we're going to need the Blood Fury weapons. Higher skill to... Uh, okay, we've got Breastplate of the Champion. Cities that share a border with the Throne City gain 10% in all types of income. So let's see... All types of income. We, we can test it. Let's test it. So we go up to High Throne. We're at all types of income. So I'm just going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down... Let me pause. Okay. So I've checked. No pass. Has a continuous connection to this capital, but isn't directly adjacent to it. So I'm curious to see if this will boost the income of all the cities or just these two. Um, and then it says 10% in all things. So I'm curious, you know, like happiness only boosts these three. But so will that will this thing buff these as well? So I wrote down food and gold because that's enough to tell if it's all the things or not. Uh, or it should be at least. So let's go ahead on in here and grab that. Cities that share border. So yeah, I gained quite a bit just now. So High Throne was at 142. It's at 159 and 167. It went up to 182 gold. So that one did change. Now what about no pass? No pass was at 67, it went up to 76, and 36, it went up to 39. So these did get 10%. So they don't have to share a border with a the capital, they have to share a border with the empire that touches the capital. Which would make it interesting to annex this one rather than vassalize it, but no, no big deal. Uh, I don't, don't really want this smaller city. But yeah, so that's cool, it does work on as long as the borders reach all the way to the capital through this one tiny little uh, node right here, then you get the boost. So that's really cool to see. All right, so I think we got to end this episode here because we're all out of time. I am doing really good on this game so far, uh, mostly because I haven't been attacked yet by these two who 
uh, are not even at war, so I don't even know what they're up to. I hope this isn't a boring series for you guys. I'm having a lot of fun playing it because I'm so successful so far, but uh, it would be, probably be good to have a little bit of a challenge. Well, that guy looks cool. On his uh, nightmare, armored nightmare. Hmm. All right, so let's end this episode here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the link in the description for our Patreon if you want to support the channel. For only $3 a month, you can double your chances to show up in my armies and as my factions, such as Okapi, Shomapi, and Irawolf. So thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next episode.